What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from a very cool place in the financial district, but we're gonna get to that. And I got a really interesting DM the other day on Instagram. One of you guys asked me, should I visit New York by myself? And I got to thinking, that's an excellent question. And many of you out there want to come to the Big Apple, but are just too afraid to take that leap to travel solo. Can't get your husband to go, can't get your best friend to go. Well, today's video is a kick in the butt. I'm gonna give you 10 reasons you should visit New York City by yourself. Guys, make sure to check out my other New York City tips videos, link down below in the description. Here we go. We are gonna start with this reason. Nobody cares. This is a city of eight million people, all who have better things to do than judge you for traveling by yourself, look at you for walking on the street by yourself. We are coming to you from the Elevated Acre, which is this amazing park in the financial district. I am filming right now like a fool and nobody cares. Nobody's even watching me because everybody has their own problems and things to worry about. There are so many crazy things going on in New York that you walking by yourself, eating by yourself, whatever it may be, Nobody cares. It's okay to go out to eat by yourself in New York. There are so many restaurants, let's say sushi bars, where you could sit at the counter, restaurants that have bars where you could sit there. Literally, one of my favorite sandwiches in New York City is only served at the bar at Delmonico's, the $100 grilled cheese. Trust me, it's life-changing. Also, there's a lot of quick serve, healthy eating places you can go to all over the city where people are constantly eating by themselves, not paying attention to you. And if you really don't wanna go out to eat and you're alone, you can always go to one of the many supermarkets, Trader Joe's, get a meal to go, it's all fine. All right, next up on the list. Let me take care of this one for you, John. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Tall from the Traveling Clat, and I've decided to let him do the next three reasons you should travel solo to New York, because this guy has traveled by himself all over the world, including New York. So Tal, take it away. Yeah, so I thought we would start with talking about how there's so many other people in this city specifically in the same situation as you. Um, if you're coming here as a solo traveler, whether it's for hostels or meetups with like couch surfing or just couch surfing in general, meeting strangers to just do random fun things together, this city is full, absolutely packed with opportunity for stuff like that just because of the sheer amount of people that are doing the same exact thing. You think about it, me and John were just talking how New York City is the number one travel destination in the United States of America. For that, that just means there's so many people coming in here on a daily basis, on a yearly basis, that the opportunity for you to hang out with people who are doing the same thing is like so, so open. Just living here for the last two, three months, I have met so many strangers just walking on the street. People who just come up and talk to you all the time. And so if you're coming with some sort of fear of that, just know that when you're here, as long as you make it open for yourself, that you're open to opportunities and you're gonna say yes a lot, just be open to that and you'll have so many opportunities coming your way of people in the same boat as you. And I wanna add a good tip to that. Let's say you go on a free walking tour, a great place to meet people also, hostels, anywhere there's fellow travelers, you have people who can go and explore the city at the same time as you. So what do you got next? So I guess the next thing that I would have to say is just walking around New York City is free. So if you're coming here on a budget, especially alone, you won't have to worry about spending much because you can literally just walk around, people watch, find cool spots to sit down, to listen to music, to do whatever you want because there's so much life in the city. For me personally, my favorite kind of neighborhood to walk around is Chinatown, specifically one street called Doyer Street, which has this really, really cool looking like East Asian architecture. It'll really feel like you're transporting to a different country when you're there. So I could literally do that all day, every day, <laughs> just walk yeah. up and down the street, do it as many times as I want. And uh, there's always something happening. So I think, a huge tip is just walk around the city, explore, get a, get a feeling for it, get the life, ingest all of that when you're here. Guys, quick break from the information. Look at this park right here. We're at the Elevated Acre. This place is amazing. It's up the stairs on 55 Water Street. It's your first time here. What do you think? It's so freaking cool. I haven't ever been up here. And we're, we're here in springtime right now, and it's so beautiful. The weather's perfect. We got nice sun. All the trees are growing out right now. Everything's becoming green. Let's show them the view from the water. Come on. Yeah. This, guys, this is really, this is my favorite part about the Elevated Acre. A lot of people come here just to eat lunch, and uh, it's like, gets the financial district crowd, but you should come, especially if you want what I would say is almost a free rooftop. You ready for this view? Look at this. There's freaking helicopters taking off. Does it get more New York City than that? 
There's helicopters. All right, so my last kind of major tip for you, because a lot of people are kind of scared when they come to New York City for the first time, especially if you're coming alone, if it's, a, if it's a safe place to be, if it's a safe place to travel to. I can tell you personally, as somebody who's been living here for the last three months, and I've been covering every square inch of the city, I've been to like all the major neighborhoods, especially for a tourist, all the major tourist destinations. There hasn't been a single time yet where I felt uncomfortable or unsafe. Um, Every neighborhood, every touristy place, every is pretty much 100% safe. The, the crime rate in New York City is so low as it is, and people generally here are very to themselves. They keep to themselves, and they're not going to be bothering you. They're not looking to harass you. Um, you're not going to have a lot of that, like when you travel to other places around the world, where people are trying to sell you stuff on the street. And this, you'll maybe get that in just the tourist destinations. But a lot of times, it's very safe. There's very low risk for confrontation in the city, in my opinion. Thank you to Tal. Check his channel out, The Traveling Clad. If you like my informative style, he is just as informative and checking out so many cool neighborhoods as well. Back to the list, New York City has so many activities that are perfectly fine to do by yourself that maybe are even better to do by yourself. Let's go through some examples. Shows, Broadway. In fact, if you're alone, you have a higher chance of winning some of the lotteries for the really tough tickets. Let's say Hamilton, for example. Also, do you really need somebody bothering you when you go to a show? If you're by yourself, nobody's going to interrupt you. New York also has tons of movie theaters, independent movie theaters, museums. I know when I go to a museum and I'm really into something, I might not want other people to talk to. I might just want to wander and enjoy it by myself. And another really cool thing to do alone, Bookstores. I recommend The Strand. It is one of the biggest independent bookstores in the country. The place is huge. Go there by yourself. Get lost in all those books. Have a good time. Shopping. New York City has so much shopping, and even though I personally hate shopping, I prefer to do it by myself. You could just spend days going up and down all of the famous streets, going to Century 21, uh, Forever 21, all the places that have the best discounts for tourists and nobody is going to be harassing you about anything. Speaking of shopping, I have a new t-shirt on my line right now. Thank you, Tal. So guys, just added this to my store. If you want to check this out, I'm putting a coupon code real quick right there, Manhattan. Guys, tell me in the comments if you like this shirt, if you want to order it. It's right down below in the description. I get a small portion of the proceeds. So if you want to support the channel and you like this t-shirt, feel free to order. The next reason, if you are traveling solo and you are single, you've come to the right city. There are so many single people in New York on all of the dating apps, on all the websites. Heck, I've seen plenty of people going to bars by themselves. If you go out by yourself, people may chat you up. I even have a story, a friend of mine met his girlfriend. They're not together anymore, but that has nothing to do with this video. But he met his girlfriend on a dating app when she was traveling to New York by herself. People here are very open-minded to dating, even if you're only here for a short period. So that could be just an extra reason to visit. One of the best reasons to travel to New York by yourself is that nobody knows you here. Well, that is if you don't have friends or family here already. But the truth is, coming on a solo trip to a big city like this gives you the opportunity to try so many new things that maybe you'd be too afraid to try if you came with your best friend who, I don't know, is afraid of staying out till four o'clock in the morning or is afraid of trying really exotic food or is afraid of going to a certain museum or place. New York gives you so many opportunities to step outside of your comfort zone. Believe me, I've done it so many times here already. So give yourself that opportunity and don't be afraid to travel here solo because remember, nobody knows you. The final reason to travel to New York by yourself is you don't need a reason. New York City is incredible. There are so many fun things to do here, whether you bring somebody or not. You're going to be missing out on so many amazing opportunities for food, for culture, for museums, for everything, for shopping. Everything I mentioned on this list and more, everything I've ever covered on this channel. If you're too afraid to come here because you don't have somebody else to take with you, you truly are missing out. And I hope that these reasons have given you that extra kick in the behind to consider booking a ticket here and making that New York City trip happen. Believe me, I have rarely ever met somebody who came to New York and regretted the experience, whether good or bad. It was definitely worth it. 
All right, guys, make sure to A, check out the food trucks down the street here. If you do come to the Elevated Acre, awesome place to eat. Bring your lunch here for sure. And make sure to check out my other New York City playlist link down below for awesome tips videos, guides to neighborhoods, and more. We have covered so much of New York in the last year. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time. There's this rumor going around New York City that if you wear QB Bar merchandise, you can get all the ladies. Is that true, John? Well, I, I can't really comment on, uh, on such things. He's not denying anything, so. If you're coming to New York, it could happen for you. <laughs>